Okay, so we've done ocean colliding with an ocean. We've done ocean colliding with a continent. And now we want to do a continent colliding with a continent. So before the two continental plates actually collide with each other, you have an ocean plate colliding with a continental plate. So do you see that in the top picture there? So if you recall, when an ocean plate is colliding with a continental plate, you're going to have some uh, mountainous volcanoes as a result of that. You are going to have an accretionary wedge as a result of it. You would have a four arc basin as a result of it. And then behind those mountains, you could have some stretching. So you could have a back arc basin and you could have some folding and faulting associated with that. Okay, now what's going to happen when the two continents actually collide with each other? Then uh, the four arc basin and the accretionary wedge are going to be shoved up on top of those mountains. So that the accretionary wedge and the uh, four arc uh, basin, which used to be at sea level, could then be raised up to the tops of those mountains when that occurs. Uh, you'll also notice that the, the volcanism shuts off because the reason for the volcanism was that oceanic plate going underneath the continent and now that has disappeared. So uh, you could, it could still be hot under there. You could still have some emplacements in those mountains, but you're not going to have uh, volcanism associated with it. Now you could still have stretching going on behind those mountains. You could still have a back arc basin that is going to accumulate. And then once everything has, has uh, come to a stop, you could have the development or continued development of a four arc basin. So now you're going to have debris that's going to be eroded off of both sides of the mountains and then that's going to start to make basins and is going to start to accumulate materials. So as these mountains are being pushed together they're under compression so you're going to be associating that with folding if it's under high temperatures and then faulting if it's not under high temperatures if it's near the surface. Okay, let's take a break, and when we come back, let's talk about what would be happening at a divergent zone.